What's up dudes? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are theorizing the country called Brazil. Join of drill, let's dissect the flag. The Brazilian flag makes a lot of symbols. The green represents the forest or the Amazon rainforest. And the yellow represents uh Yo, colors of houses and these stars represent the state, and the blue represents the sky, and it says Omre e Progresio with green stuff in it. And the coast of arms of Brazil, it has stars representing the state, and it says date 1889, 15 de novembro, Republica Federada do Brasil, and it has leaves and the location of Brazil and it's pretty much a big bad country that everybody knows about. It borders French Guiana, Surma, Guyana, Co Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, B Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina, and Uruguay. It's kind of just like a king of South America that was conquered by Portugal after it declared independence. It's now big, and Portugal in comparison, it's small. And the cave turns in Cavana National Park, and these people from ethnic groups, and they landed in Pombang, Cavana in 1500, painting in 1922. And the rest of Chavan is in painting in 1914 during the First World War. When King Jasso V. I. of the United Kingdom, Portugal, Brazil, in the Rio, in Rio de Janeiro, which is the second largest city in the country right now, and the creation of Brazilian independence in September 7th. 1822 from Portugal because all the other countries were buying from independence. And then Porto II, an emperor of Brazil between 1831 and 1889. And the Republic in 1893. And then a hundred years of Republic of Army and Brazilian expeditions. And it's just a very, very big country, and also has an empire called the Empire Brazil, and it's pretty interesting, including this is the Amazon rainforest. Look at this. It's filled with trees everywhere. Clouds are blocking it, and there's rain inside pouring down you. It's just very good, and it's also home to the Amazon River, and the, this is where the work press of President Brazil in Brasilia, which is the capital. And yep, it's some pretty interesting history about Brazil, and it's like the big boy of South America. Yep, and it speaks Portuguese language. Yeah, it's just pretty interesting history. That right there is Rio de Janeiro and the Amazon River and a lot of stuff in history and water roads and a lot of cities in Brazil. And this is what is done from Porto. And it's just very, very cool. And there's a statue that's seen and the largest city is Sao Paulo which is in Sao Paulo province in Brazil. And yep, very interesting. And these are some a lot of history and veg, and I don't think I'm gonna theorize a lot, but its capital is Brasilia, and its largest city is Sao Paulo, and its official language is Portuguese. And our ethnic groups like all of them. And the religion is 86.8 Christianity and 64.6 Roman Catholics. 
and then 22% Protestantism, 8% no religion, Sybarism, 2%, and other religions, 3.2%. And its current president is Jair Bolsonaro. And it declared independence in 1922 from Portugal. And, yep, Portugal is just some pretty interesting history, so let's listen to the anthem. Pretty interesting. And it also has football. Yeah, as you know about football, yeah, Brazil has football. If you are American and you live in America, then call it soccer. If you're in Brazil and over any country in the world, just call it football. The American football is like this, while the South American football is like this. Go! It's just like that. And American soccer is still the same as the American, as the American soccer and the Brazilian football. And that's why they named their sport football. So that was some pretty interesting history. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you have an amazing day, a great day. Now see you next week.